हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू इंप्लीमेंट यूनिटी एड्स इन कीवी एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन सो यू कैन अर्न मनी बाय थ्रू कीवी एंड्रॉइड एप्लीकेशन सो दिस वीडियो विल बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जस्ट वॉच फुल वीडियो so if you are new in my channel and uh, just hit the subscribe button uh, to get latest update from my channel and like share my videos okay so let's start um, so first of all just open browser and open my github uh, page you can find the link in the description below just open this uh, to interact with android i have uh, uh, sorry to interact with android through python using python i have um, written small module okay name name is pycube droid so here you can read all these things i have uh, all all documentation is here just read all these things but today's video is um, about unity ads okay so just scroll down and here unity ads uh, okay before that before all these things you have to create unity account unity unity id so just open unity id um, and create a account here uh, i am not going to show uh, this how to create account uh, you can find this in internet or youtube it's very easy just to um, enter email password okay or create one sorry create one here and here all the, just type all these things and you can get an account so after that you have to uh, you have to sign in and uh, you have to create an ad app and uh, and uh, you have to create an project sorry uh, you have to create a project uh, okay um, so okay uh, you can find this uh, in you, any any youtube or internet so okay so after that uh download this unity dot r so you can uh, get from this download link okay just download this zip file and unzip this okay and uh, this is my project folder and create this uh, lips folder and put that unity ads dot r okay. so that's it and now this is main dot py my uh, kv application so here um, <coughs> just import this uh, from pycubedroid dot unity ads import unity handler okay and so i have just create a simple hello world app here so i have just uh, um, uh, created my app from using this app class and uh, override this build method and i have just added box layout and here i have added two buttons so uh, this is this is uh, mm, uh, just i have uh, here i have shown the banner ads okay so here i have just initialized this uh unity handler and just put here the app id so you can get the app id from this your account or from your project okay <coughs> sorry so 
just put here I have already um, I have um, here uh, I am just getting uh, sorry I am just taking this app ID from this file this file because I have um, write the app ID in this file okay uh, so put this app ID here and uh, just call this method init banner adds and just pass your add ID here this is my add ID is banner ID right so pass this add ID and uh, just test mode I am just setting this test mode equal to true and position equal to top position equal to true and I am loading this I am just calling this load banner to load banner add and I have just added two buttons show banners and uh, hide banners ok and I am just calling to method when uh, button is click and uh, in call to I am just hiding this banner to hide banner and just hide call this method from UH or unity handler hide dash banner or <coughs> to show banner just call this show banner and I am just loading here also so that's that that's it oh, it is very easy and this is app portion uh, here you can uh, see the banner implementation here you can get the all code just put the app add I, app id and add id add id put all these things okay now after that you have to create buildozer.spec file to convert this file into an apk okay so for this you have to just open terminal in project folder and write buildozer there's a buildozer in it uh, here's uh, error because I have already, already have this file so just open this file and enter the title a package name package domain name include all the extensions here and <coughs> requirements just put all these requirements python 3 kv android pyunus pi keep droid this module this is the module i have just i have written to interact with android easily through python using python and you can set orientation i am just setting all orientation and you have to just add this permission here internet and network access access network state and uh, scroll down and just add this line or update this line um, because I I have um, uh, put this file into this folder lips uh, so you have to add this line ok so because during the build process we have just need this file this file so uh, this line will um, this line will uh, help to uh, build process okay now scroll down and just uncomment this line to get lock cat from your android device okay uh, it will uh, this uh, uh, this local locket filter will show only python related logs from your phone or android device you can change architecture or uh, i'm just not changing this because i don't need uh, so you can set this um, architecture also for newer version of android but i'm not doing here uh, so that's it nothing we have to change 
things you have to just enter bulldozer does be android debug deploy run locket so before um, this command just connect your phone uh, you connect your phone with your pc and uh, enable the android adb debug mode in your phone and connect this with uh, usb cable and enter <coughs> so it will take first time it will take some time to <coughs> so it is going <coughs> application is started in my phone now i am just showing you small demonstration uh, so let's okay mm. okay you can see the locket from my phone here uh, so uh, to get locket from your phone Uh, so you can easily debug your code also by if you have this locket which is when this app is running in your phone uh, this log is here so you can uh, you can debug your application uh, why your application is not running or crashing in your phone sometimes uh, people are facing problems they saying app uh, app is crashing but just connect uh, connect uh, you, your phone with pc by usb cable and enter this command this command and launch your application okay so we'll get all this locket so you can debug your code okay uh, so that's it now i am just mirroring my android yes see here and this is simple application um, simple application is this is simple application now to i am just requesting for banner ad yes here unity banner uh, ad is here it is showing uh, banner ad site okay so thus you can uh, you can implement banner ads in unity banner ads in your kv app android application so that's it so let's uh, uh, okay so i'm just or you can um, uh, set uh, interstitial ad also here by using this interstitial ads and uh, reward ads by using this code okay just copy this code from github
and paste here Interstitial or reverse add. Just uh, write uh, this type of code, and this is Unity handler. Your app ID. Put the app ID is here. Str app ID. The string. Pass the string, and uh, just uh, add type is interstitial. I want to watch interstitial add here. I N T R interstitial. Add type is interstitial, and I am just uh, test mode equal to true, and this callback only for reward add. Your add is rewarded or not to get information or status. Just use this callback. Otherwise, you can skip. You can just comment this line and close the packet. Okay. Uh, <coughs> and this so the reward set, but interstitial, interstitial, I N T R, interstitial add, and this callback will. Oh, you have to put this. Uh, uh, okay, just create Unity handler and init add, and uh, so adds. Put the add ID is here. So I want to need this add ID. So I am pausing this video to get the add ID. So I've just entered this add ID is here, and uh, you have to just may uh, just car interstitial make sure spelling is correct, and uh, this interstitial and uh, okay now okay this is okay now mm, uh, let's rebuild this app. Started to okay. Okay, my application is started now. I'm just mirroring my application to get small demonstration. Okay, see, this interstitial ad is working. Yes. So that's all. See how easy uh, it is um, to implement in uh, Unity ads. I have written some module you can find in. You can install through this pip3 install or. Just put these requirements. Okay, or you can read all these things. Uh, I will talk about in later uh, in, uh, in next videos, next next up, uh, upcoming videos. So that's all for today. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe my channel and support me. Uh, I'm just so that's all. Uh, see you next video.